Hey, uh, my name is Hauke Petersen. Um, I'm from the Free University in Berlin, and um, I'm also one of the Riot team, uh, team core developers. So this is actually my first time to IETF. I've never been here, and also my first time to the IETF hackathon. Then, of course, um, and we came here with quite a large group, about like 10 people from the Riot team. And so what we are hoping for is to connect Riot, which is an operating system for very small constrained IoT devices, to connect that, of course, to other uh, projects and protocols that are going on at IoTF. Um, so we have picked different topics which we try to prepare at IoTF. And the one topic I'm involved in currently is um, to try to port uh, the HomeNet uh, protocol, so DNCP and HNCP, for very constrained tiny devices. So we talked to the guys from HomeNet who are actually also here, and that's one of the nice things about the hackathon, that you just can connect to all the people that basically made those protocols you're trying to implement. And talked a little bit with them, and they said it's maybe not their, their core concern for the protocol to, to have it on those kind of devices. We will, we will try it anyway and, and see how far we get, and, and then kind of have a working version on those systems we can evaluate for the future. And, see if there might be room for improvement or other kind of profiles we would need for those kind of devices and kind of have a live demo feasibility study in the end. So yeah, um, if you want to learn more about Riot, just go to riotos.org and there you find of course all the high level information about Riot, what it's about, and but more importantly you find the links to GitHub where you find all our code, it's all open source. Also you find the links to our mailing list where you have a very, very good starting point to get in touch with the community, to get in touch with the people actually who, who made the ideas, who, who started everything. And uh, so from there basically you get all the information you need. And it's also a very active community and, and that's what we're focusing on very much on this, not only the technical aspect but also the community aspect and, and the open source idea behind it. Because in, in our, what we strongly believe in is that if we have all these embedded tiny devices all around the world and everywhere with like millions of things or billions of things even in the Internet of Things. Uh, we only really can trust those devices if we have free software which we can trust, which we can and look into and also of course free protocols, uh, open protocols, not free. But, and, and so that is the main idea and that's why we're also pushing this idea of community so much because only an open nice community can actually create something that's open and, and nice to use.